check this thing out. This right here is the Quartron KP-19. It is a... Th this thing is very large. It is very hardy. It is meant a lot for industrial use, and the brand themselves, uh, Quartron, they make a lot of stuff for the U.S. military. In fact, 99% of Cortron's customer base is the US military. I actually quoted them for one of their keyboards and they gave me and my friend uh, $2,000 MSRP for uh, one of these. So, you know, it's not exactly all that cheap. What even is this? So this is the kind of thing that you'd have plugged into an industrial console and you would have easy access even with your big gloved fingers. You'd be able to use the trackball and get around, click these beefy buttons and then mash these buttons too and be able to see them in the dark with this nice green backlight, which we'll touch back on in a second. Cortron themselves, they are a peripheral manufacturer. They specifically make a lot of rugged peripherals for manufacturing and military, like I said earlier. This isn't the only configuration of the KP-19 the Cortron makes. Some of them come in different colors and occasionally they don't or do have this trackball unit here and sometimes it may not even include backlighting, you never know. This backlight in particular is green and this is a calibrated shade of green known as Invis Green. It is sort of the same shade of green that gets used in military spec night vision goggles, so it'll actually allow you to see what's going on here with this backlit keypad and not blind yourself. This entire trackball assembly here is entirely mechanical. There are no optical inserts. Do you know what an optical insert is? Do you know, do you know what that is? This trackball system is entirely mechanical. There are no optics in it whatsoever, and it uses a set of rollers and gears to determine the position of the roller ball, which will then translate to cursor movement on your screen. These aren't your typical mechanical switches in here. These are actually capacitive switches. I've heard from somebody that because they're capacitive in a situation like this, that they might be foam and foil. I can't confirm that. I'm not really gonna ask the company because I'm not comfortable doing that after I got quoted 2K for a keyboard. They might quote me 500 just to help me. I can't really confirm what they are, but I can say that they actually are tactile, if you can believe it. When I first took this thing apart, it literally is a gigantic black metal box and each thing is separated into different assemblies. So you have the trackball assembly, you have the keypad assembly, you have the cable assembly, you, you know, you get the picture. I can't actually get into this because the keypad assembly is bondoed to the the top of the case so I have to slit it with a knife and I'm not really comfortable with that so I can't get in here and see what these are but I'm pretty sure that these are capacitive but somebody else could confirm that for me. Naturally it was used as a game controller a few times. My production assistant insisted that we play Doom 64 with it and so I had him do it. They played through the first three levels with the keypad and they did pretty well, but they also weren't playing on a higher difficulty than Bring It On. Unsurprising considering playing an FPS game with the trackball is on par with trying to drive your car with your leg through one of the holes in the steering wheel. They had to rebind some of the keys, but they managed to figure out a control system that worked best for them and they ran with it while adapting it over time. You don't need a lot of buttons to play Doom, but you don't have a lot of buttons to work with here and most of them are awkwardly placed, so they had to get around with the new layout. According to them, the switches didn't feel bad, they just felt like a run-of-the-mill tactile. They weren't terrible, but they weren't a standout. If we consider that this is really meant to be used by people who have way more important things to do than me, and what we have to say doesn't really matter too much. So I shouldn't play Doom 64 with that? No. No? Is it really that bad? It's terrible. If you want to pick one of these things up, they're on sale on eBay for 115 bucks before shipping, and they run over USB. Keep the name Cortron in your head, I'll have another one of their products on my desk very soon. Thank you guys for stopping by, and take care.